we're at a very uh, important place for evangelization because it's kind of a crossroads. Uh, many tourists come here, many pilgrims come here. Um, and with the monast monastic presence here, we have visitors from all over the place. And so we're continually uh, sharing with others our life. And uh, of course, above all the liturgy, people immediately come here and they experience the liturgy. They experience the youth of the community. They experience the enthusiasm of the monks. And this is extremely uh, encouraging to other people. We have a large liturgical bustlet online. We record lauds, vespers, and, and sung, uh, sung mass, chanted mass every day. We weren't always doing the extraordinary form, uh, but um, always in that spirit, let us say, always in Latin and with Gregorian chant. Um, and with me, above all, it was, it was the chant that drew me to, to, the, to, to the monastery. The Gregorian chant, the extraordinary form of the Mass, these are um, things that many, uh, many Christians don't, uh, many faithful, many lay people don't have experience of today. And so a little bit goes a long way. A little experience of beauty can help bring them close to God. And, and from there, we have had experiences of people who have had radical conversions. We're not doing anything really out of the ordinary. We're just living the monastic life. But I think that's the, 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 the genius of monastic evangelization, a life lived for God, a life given over to the worship of God, and to simply sharing that with people. Um, I think that's, that's the most beautiful thing. And we just try to live our lives here.